The answer to the question is no, I don't eat out all of the time. Actually, since I'm single and I live alone, I eat at home quite often. And due to the fact that I have an issue with gluten and a bunch of other stuff, I really don't eat out much. My birthday week was exceptional and I ate out a lot, but I had a bunch of free coupons and I had to use them all. I had to, I really did. What do I do most days when I'm home alone? It's just me and Alexa. Alexa, are we having fun? That's my girl, that's my girl. And that's who I spend most of my time with. But since I do cook at home, I just wanted to show you all a quick way to put together an easy meal because it's only me and I can't cook like I once did when I was living at home with family. So here we go. And you know I don't own the rights to this music because I am not Bruno Mars, okay? If you followed me for any length of time on social media, then you know my thyroid struggles. Did you know a bum thyroid could cause your teeth to shift? Skin flare-ups, which may or may not be acne. My fingernails will always tell the story. Not healthy, scary healthy. The hair loss was the worst. I've been very close to 300 pounds, dang near hit my goal weight, back above 200, and for the first time in a long time, back under 200, and holding. I've been natural since 1965. Who knew I'd go from naturalista to shorty locks within 10 months time? There are so many things that go with my personal thyroid story, but what I know for certain for me is that my body prefers fresh living foods which only makes sense since I'm a living being trying to stay healthy. So again, celebrations are monitored because I cannot appreciate what is happening to my skin right now. But you have to pay the cost to be disobedient, right? Or as my mother would say, a hard head makes a soft behind. I'm sitting on pudding this week, folks. With that said, I wanted to show you a quick meal I prepared to get my system back on track before I start my cleanse, which by the way, I will also be demonstrating at a later date. As a person who has never been married or cohabitated, I seem to spend a lot of time staring at a nearly empty refrigerator and into a seemingly organized pantry, trying to figure out who keeps eating the food and why won't they replenish it? I do not keep processed foods in my home, not because I don't like them. Actually, I like them too much. I'm only willing to deal with inflammation and breakouts once a year. And if I keep chips, cookies, and such in my home, I'll be in pain and popping pimples daily. Since I eat a lot of fresh fruits and vegetables, I make my purchases weekly, meal prep Sunday evening, and then get on with my life. But last week was the birthday celebration and I knew I wouldn't need food. So here I am acting like old Mother Hubbard with nothing in the cupboards. But I do have a few items that will make a decent dinner for one. But how do I combine those sparse items into a meal? I purchased this bison and Italian sausage a few days before my birthday and kept it in the freezer. I had intended to celebrate at home, but those darn coupons! I have several cookbooks to choose from. I could do something from the antebellum period. I could go with good old soul food. Thankfully, I do not have pig's feet, nor do I eat pig's feet. But I'm thinking that recipe will come in handy when the zombies attack. I could use a cookbook published by family and friends. I don't even know what this is and I don't have any of these ingredients in my home. Maybe I can find a good recipe on my favorite app that includes bison, ham, or Italian sausage. My favorite cooking app is Fit Men Cook. Chef Kevin Curry is a joy to watch and his recipes are very easy to follow. And check this out. He has recipes for bison and Italian sausage but not combined. Well, 
I guess I'm gonna have to freestyle this meal and hope for the best. As you can see, I'm limited on things to add. I could go to the market down the street for an onion, garlic, and peppers for a quick pasta sauce, or, and we know I'm going with or, I can just get creative with all of these spices and this poor neglected onion I have. I've tried over the years to recreate my mom's spaghetti sauce. Hers was rich and very flavorful. I think the combination of Italian sausage and bison should turn out pretty well. I decided to combine them with tomato paste. So I should be able to get my mom's texture from this sauce. I doubt if I'll nail it because she used so many fresh ingredients, onion, garlic, mushrooms. Due to my gluten sensitivity, I'm very cautious about the pasta I eat. So I chose one that is primarily spinach based with durum wheat flour. It's the first time I'm trying this one, but Central Market has very good brand items. So this should be painless. Wish me luck. I basically took out measuring tools to let you know that I have some. I grew up watching my mom and aunts cook. I didn't know anything about measuring spoons, cups, or bowls until I took home ec in the fifth grade. Basically because no one in my family ever, to my knowledge, used them. So I adopted that method of cooking as well. I'll sprinkle spices until the ancestors whisper, enough child. <laughs> I actually saw that posted on one of my social media pages. But it's true. Smoked paprika is straight from heaven and I thank Chef Curry for introducing me to it. Now, you may be asking yourself, what the heck is she doing with that onion? Well, I need a chopping board. So the cookie sheet is a surrogate until I stop being lazy and go get one. Yep, sure laziness, but I'm single and live alone. I'm sure if I were cuffed, I think that's the term, for married couple or involved people for this season. I'm not cuffed, coupled, or involved. So I don't have to worry about working on anyone's nerves but mine with my inability to care about a chopping board when I have options. Options, people. That's what keeps the world moving. Now, that's looking pretty darn good, but I need it just a little bit thicker. Now, while that simmers, I'll plop the pasta in and prepare dessert. My mom taught me to clean as I go when cooking, so I wash my hands religiously and the dishes too. I do not like waking up to weird odors or bugs. Yes, this watermelon is huge, but I finally found one with seeds and holy cow. It's very sweet and juicy. Please don't be scared of my cutting technique. There are so many ways to cube a melon. This is mine. Until I get one of those as seen on TV watermelon cutters, which I'm sure is right next to the chopping boards. I've already posted a cleanse smoothie and this is the watermelon I use for that. And voila, spinach pasta with meat sauce, watermelon for dessert, and a lovely sangria to wash it down. Okay, and there you have it. A quick meal to eat by yourself, but technically not by yourself. Um, I'm single, I live alone, and I have this thing called oneness. Oneness is not a new philosophy. It is just that all that you have, all that you need, all that you want is within. So instead of caring what people think when you go out to eat by yourself or caring what people think when you buy your groceries. Caring what people think in general is just not a good idea. So fix yourself something healthy. Those of you that know my backstory, you know about the thyroid issues, and this is the first time in a long time I've been under 200 pounds. So I try to keep it as healthy as possible. The pasta, of course, gluten-free a small house salad and some watermelon, which I will consume all of that because it's delicious. And honestly, I need to cleanse after my dog on birthday week. And even though I didn't eat everything that I got for my birthday, still, I did have cake. I did not have any ice cream. And as you can see on my pasta, I have no cheese, which normally I have it cheese. So down. ending 
on this note with some wonderful music playing in the background. And of course, at first we had Bruno Mars. This is my dear friend, Candy Williams. You can get her CD on Amazon, um, iTunes. Go to Candy Williams page on Facebook. Let's see if Candy has some information in here on how we can contact her. Yeah, Candy C. Williams dot com. The girl can sing. She's normally at the Wine Therapist in Dallas. She has an amazing voice and she is an amazing performer. If you've never seen her, by all means, go and check her out in Dallas. Most As time. you sit, eating single, enjoying your life, loving your life, living your life. Cheers, everyone. <laughs>